All right, welcome back to Afternoon Drive here on Joppa Radio. My name is Drew Mulholland. Hope you're all having a good Tuesday. Pentucket's girls basketball in the house. Head coach John McNamara from left to right here, Anna Weiner, Hannah Lambert, and Angelina Yakabachi. Hello, everybody. Hi. How are we doing? <laughs> the uh, So, I was just joking off the air, uh, and Coach, thank you for coming back in. We had you on last year, uh, right around state tournament time, right? Is that... Yes. Um, I catch you very rarely off a, off a loss here. You come, you said they were running sprints. <laughs> yeah, I was only joking about the sprints, but yeah, we lost a tough one yesterday to a really good midfield team uh, that we hope to see again in the uh, state tournament. Possibility, you think? Uh, it would have to be in the state final, but so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, very good. Um, was that on the road? In the St. Mary's of uh, Lynn uh, tournament that they have oh, every okay. year. Oh, yeah. okay. Gotcha. Uh, so 21 and 2. Um, and Coach, we'll get to your players in one second, but I do have to say 300 wins for Wilmington the other day. You got your 300th win of your career. Uh, a staggering number. That must have felt pretty good. Uh, it was nice to beat Wilmington, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does it uh, – I mean, you've hit a lot of milestones across along the way, but um, I mean, that's a big number. Not too many coaches at the high school level get to that. Uh, does it hit you? Does it feel um, You so know, good? it's really a, a testament to the program and to girls like this that we've had the last 14 years at a, a dedicated focus, play hard, buy into the system. We've had great coaches. We've had great youth program, great uh, coordinators at the youth level. So it, it's really a, a more of a program milestone than just – the coach milestone all right well we got three of your seniors here i know i introduced them but why don't you girls just say your names one more time so we know go ahead um, i'm anna weiner i'm hannah lambert and i'm angelina yakabachi there's the tough name so it's true there were no there were no sprints just to no, clarify no fortunately not <laughs> we had the day off the day off all right you figured he needed a breather i wasn't sure you know when he told me that off the air i thought he may have been serious at that time uh well anyways so 21 and 2 girls uh so far a great season uh what's the what's this team been like you have a lot to live up to as pentucket mm-hmm. basketball every year mm-hmm. you're good I feel like at the beginning of the, just I feel like at the beginning yeah. of the season, like we ha- we put a lot of pressure on ourselves, like as a team, because we have so much to live up to because what we did last year, and I feel like that kind of maybe interfered with what we were trying to <laughs> like do in the season. But once we started just like buying into our season and not really putting on that much pressure on ourselves we kind of started playing like how we should and i think that we can get to where we were is this a good uh, is this a, a championship group again you think oh yeah i think so you're <laughs> all seniors you know what it takes <laughs> at this point right yeah what's the uh what is the stri- is there anything different about this team compared to last year's team and or maybe you're just tri- striving to be like yeah, last year's team i don't <laughs> know but um i feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of similarities <laughs> compared to like how close we are I feel like this team is just as close as last year's team was so I feel like that's similar and that kind of helps is that a staple of uh kind of Pentucket basketball is close teams close-knit teams yeah yeah um <coughs> Angelina what about you how about the uh senior game what do you play what Bas- position oh basketball. I play like thank <laughs> you she <laughs> plays basketball Fantastic. I didn't know I play like <laughs> guard sometimes like on the <laughs> That may be the best answer you've ever heard. <laughs> uh, sorry, continue. Okay. I play guard normally. Your guard, okay. Mm-hmm. So do you? Uh, are, are you a passer? Or do you like to get your your points too? I feel like it's pretty equal, pretty even out. Pretty equal. Mm-hmm. Who's the? Uh, who l- teach me a little bit about the team this year? Who's and you can name drop people not in the room. Who the? Uh, who are the scorers? Who's kind of the facilitators? Uh, Angelica Hurley is definitely one of our big scorers. She's yeah. a really good three point shooter. Okay. And Ariel Cleveland and Mackenzie Curry. And you yep. and Angelina. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we had Arielle on, right, Coach? Last time? Is that right? She's been on separately. Separately. Oh, okay. For, for volleyball. Oh volleyball. oh, volleyball. Yeah, that's right. Although basketball, I think, was her number one, if I remember mm. correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's cool. Who's the person, like, at the end of the game? Who's the girl, like, you want the ball in that person's hands? Or are there some? I feel like it depends on the situation. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Good answer. Mm-hmm. You made Coach very proud with that one. <laughs> yeah, just grab it. When you're, you're going to talk, just grab it. You yeah. can't break it. Yeah, I mean, it does. It depends on the situation. Um, we have plenty of kids that we can trust at the end of the game, and uh, we've won a couple of close games this year, and it's been you know different players stepping up, so a true team. What's the? Um, have there been some moments this year, Coach, that uh, I, I imagine it's sometimes tough when you have a 21-2 and two team to find teaching moments, or maybe it's not tough. I you think we had one yesterday. Okay, yeah. So um, we played a team that was um, – a team that's won a lot of you know championships, state championships in the last ten so years. Um, they were long, very big, much bigger than us. 
And I think it took us a while to get adjusted to that. And um, I think we're better for it now that we know we, we could have played with them. We, you know, we missed mm -hmm. some shots. They hit some tough shots at the end that kind of, you know, won the game for them. But it took us a little while to get comfortable and, and um, play against that height. Mm -hmm. And so I think we learned from that yesterday. And I think we all agreed after the game that, yeah, we're, we're, we're a better team for that loss. So that, it's good to have a loss before you go into the state tournament sometimes, and, and I, that's how we're going to look at it. I've always wondered if coaches are lying about that. Sometimes it's a good loss. Is that only yeah. something you say after you do lose the game? Well, yeah, you never say <laughs> it yeah, before. It, it, it could have been a really good win, let's yeah, put it that way. Right. But, um, yeah. uh, you know, sometimes we had won, I don't know, 17, 18 in a row, and, yeah. you know, expectations and pressure of winning can get to you, and sometimes it's a little humbling to have a loss and – I think it can be a good thing. Especially thing. when you talk about the format of this state tournament, too. It's it's one and done. So, I mean, I, one seeds do lose to yeah. bets. I mean, it happens. You just, if you bring, if the team starts shooting lights yeah. out, I mean, it's probably good to be come down, down to earth a little bit, right? And the format of high school basketball is the, the 12th seed can be just as good as the two seed because they may play in a different league that yeah. is a lot stronger. So you can't really go by the, the, the pairings. and the, So like we may end up drawing a one of the better teams in the first round. Yep. It can, it can happen. Interesting. Who's the uh, Who would win, this year's team or last year's team? Just kidding. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> Just kidding. This year's team. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you three uh, girls are seniors, um, obviously leaders. You're probably leaders as juniors too in your own ways. But uh, what's it? What's it like being senior leaders on a 21-2 and two Pentucket team? Did you learn from the seniors last year? Uh, give me a little background on that. Um, it's definitely, like, humbling, I would say. Yep. Just because, like, you know that, like, you're the oldest on the team and you kind of got to get used to that and realize that, like, like the younger kids look up to you mm -hmm. and, like, they're just figuring it out and you kind of, like, you should have it figured out by this point so i'd say it's like humbling i can imagine as a young <laughs> freshman or i don't know how many freshmen or sophomores you play um do you play any yeah, yeah. okay um i can imagine that is not an easy situation uh s starting or even just playing big roles on a team that's as yeah. prestigious as you is, is that's probably a tough do you try to make it easier on those youngsters we try i mean yeah <laughs> like i've i personally have gotten like closer with the freshmen this yeah. year like yeah they're <laughs> they're, they're funny kids. <laughs> like, I don't know how to put it. Like they're kind of easy to talk to. Yeah. Like yeah, they're easy to talk to. Yeah. Okay, good to know. <laughs> um, and Angelina, since we know you play basketball too, is that <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you finding the same? Did you try to reach out to the younger kids? And yeah, I feel uh, like at the beginning of the year, like they weren't like as comfortable like asking us like questions like on the sideline or even just like talking to us in general. It's kind of natural, like, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah, but then like as like we started talking to them more and like having like kind of like a little bit of like a meeting before practice and stuff they were like more comfortable because seniors mm -hmm. you're literally like young adults whereas like a freshman you're i don't know that's just a huge yeah. jump right mm -hmm. i mean it, it, it can you probably notice that too coach i mean just the the difference between dealing with a, a senior that you can probably talk to at like a grown-up level versus a freshman who's you know a middle school star maybe and you know it's it, that must be kind of weird as a coach too trying to balance that out yes yeah maturity wise it's, it's a big difference yeah. you know you can have a discussion with these guys freshmen i think they're scared to death of me to start with <laughs> yeah do you, do you carry that is there can you tell that the, there's an intimidation factor oh yeah definitely yeah. yeah definitely and you know it's not a bad thing you know they have to work their way into it and, and yeah. feel their way through and um you know most coaches say the best thing about freshmen is you know, they become sophomores. So, <laughs> yeah. And right. Each year through, they'll they'll mature. But yeah, by the end, by this time, they're not freshmen anymore. Anyway, we played 23 games. You know, some some kids are getting more minutes than others, but yeah, they know the system, and these guys have passed on the culture, and that's what the key thing is: having those young kids learn from these guys, so that they can be the leaders in the future. And uh, who's the? Uh, you can name drop a little bit. Who's uh, somebody that surprised you? Maybe that uh, an underclassman that you're like, wow, really playing a big role this year. Um, well, I wouldn't say it surprised me necessarily, mm -hmm. but I'm, I've been very, very impressed with Abby Doobie's performance. Okay. She's a freshman. She is an incredible shooter. Like, she is, we trust her very much with really? the ball past the three-point line. <laughs> so, yeah, we're all, we're all really proud of her. Is there any, like, level of, uh, for anybody, too, I don't mm -hmm. even just mean a freshman, like, if you start a game and you're 0 for 5 or something, mm -hmm. is there, like, I mean, if you're a shooter, do you just keep shooting, and you know, or is it, you know what, I'm 0 for 5, we're 21 and 2, there's a lot of different scores, maybe I need to give this ball up. How, how does that work in the team? I don't know. Um. <laughs> Hannah really jumped for well, that like, microphone. I'm kind of curious about this answer. Well, 
Well, like, I am a shooter, and, like, I've definitely missed my fair share of shots. <laughs> yep. But, like, you just got to keep shooting. Like, you just got to forget about the shot you just took that you miss and hope that the next one goes in, I guess. What's that like when you're having – and I know, I mean, sometimes it can be just you having an off night. Maybe it's a tough gym to shoot in. Um, I'm just sure there's plenty of those around here. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I know for a fact Newburyport's a tough gym to shoot in. Yeah. Right? I would hate – somebody pointed that out to me one day about the uh, – like the whatever you it's call like it uneven. Yeah. it's yeah. yeah it's it's not a rectangle i don't really know what it is <laughs> I, that would drive me crazy yeah, yeah i hate it okay. i don't like shooting in that gym <laughs> yeah, it's like only that one direction too right it's yeah. like, <laughs> craziness um so that would make me upset but the uh if you're like if you're having a bad night how do you like get around that do you do you just keep talking to yourself like to work yourself out of it maybe, um, maybe try to get to the free throw line i don't know I feel like I personally just, like, kind of get out of my head and listen to, like, like my coaches, like, that tell me to keep shooting. Yeah. So like Do I you ever get don't keep shooting? Have you ever got that? Well, like, <laughs> sometimes when I airball, I'm like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> shoot again. But <laughs> maybe the fadeaway three with 15 seconds yeah. left on the shot clock wasn't a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the coach is nodding his head. That apparently, <laughs> apparently that's happened before. Um, just kidding. Um, Angelina, how about, the, how about you? What's it like having, like, an, an off game or not quite being there maybe early on in the game and working yourself out of it? Uh, well, I feel like sometimes, like, I could get, like, really down on myself because, like, I know, like, what, like, each of us need to do to win the game. But then, like, my teammates and, like, my coaches will, like, pick me up. Yeah. And they, like, help me through it. Isn't it, uh, it, it's got to be a little bit easier, though, when you're uh, on a team like this that has so many different scores to go to and, you know, you've obviously had great success. A lot of teams, I feel like, especially at the high school level, games can get away from them quickly. Like, mm -hmm. they come out slow, sloppy, down by double digits and they're never back in the game i feel like maybe that doesn't worry you girls as much like you know we're always in it we can always strike is that mm -hmm. fair yeah i feel like there's like not that much pressure with that because like if one of us is having a bad game we know that like someone else will be there to pick up our like yeah. slack yeah what's the uh what is your when people come out to see pentucket girls basketball this year is it like a fast-paced kind of up and down you're trying to force turnovers is it more of a is do you like that hectic style or yeah, we definitely like yeah, that hectic style. It might not always be the best. <laughs> it might not always be like the way we want to go about the specific game yeah. that we're playing, but we usually tend to play like that. Like we like to run, we like to push the ball. Yep. Like we would rather do that than maybe set up into like plays. Coach, that's kind of a culture thing, right? You you always kind of play an up tempo style. Yeah, right? we we feed off our defense, and our yeah. defense is aggressive and in full court. So I think that kind of gets us running and gets our offense going so yeah it is kind of the program culture is, is that uh, have you ever had to like hands tied change that just by the group that you cards you've been dealt or yeah i think in high school you you know most high schools you can't recruit so um <laughs> Ooh, what are we referring yeah. to there coach <laughs> so you have to adjust to what you have coming up and you yeah. know the first few years we were uh, when i started coaching we were we had a 6-3 center and we were big and we didn't play that style, and then we lost a 6-3 center, and we became more average size, so we kind of changed. But down the road, I can see us changing again if we need to. Uh, what is the uh, what about like in-game adjustments? You're, you're always trying to play fast-paced, but are there some games where you know what if we try to run with this team up and down? And I can't imagine there's too many of those teams in the state, but if yeah, know, we've slowed we it down to, in, yeah. in certain games, right? When, especially if you have a, a lead, we you know we want to all right, let's let's work the clock a little bit and stuff, and that can be an adjustment on the fly too. It's hard when you go go go, and now you're trying to change. But these guys, these guys are smart; they know what to do. And at the um, senior year, how many did you play as a freshman? Or I was on JV as a freshman. Oh. I swung sophomore year. So okay, sophomore year. Mm -hmm. Is that this case from? Is that like a common? Sophomore year? Or? Uh, I, junior year for me. Junior yeah. It's freshman. tough to break through on Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and um, I was a high school freshman year. Okay. So, so you, but you all have plenty of experience yeah. now. Mm -hmm. um, even you said the freshmen are um, experienced <laughs> at this point. What's the, like, the best part about being a part of like this team? Because, I mean, there's plenty of people that don't get a chance. There's only mm -hmm. so many roster spots. But you get to like ca carry on this tra tradition of Kentucky basketball, which is kind of something special. They all, they all look at each other. The first question of the day. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like... Look at you get the jackets and everything. I mean, yeah, like, I know. They're you nice. Get swag. <laughs> like, we make, like, a lot of good friendships, like, on and off the court, like, from basketball. But, like, it's really, like, nice and, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's... 
Do you I would just like pressure? never ex- like our team growing up was like always like very good like yeah. we like weren't expected to lose like I guess like yeah. we've kind of always had that like but not like every team has so like when we do lose like we're like never satisfied like we don't feel happy with that. Do you feel um, and Hannah maybe you could take this one? Do you feel like as a growing up like around here like okay I want to play for Pawtucket someday and you're expected to win like is that kind of like yeah that definitely is like the mindset because like. Like Angelina just said, like our travel team when we were younger, like we were, we were pretty good. Like we didn't lose yeah. much, and like even like when you're younger, like you want to kind of have that. You want to be able to win as many games as you want. And I feel like that's, like that's something to look forward to. Just like being the the good team. Are you guys thinking about that? Like this fifth, fifth sixth, seventh grade, like. Here we are, travel team. Yeah, yeah we like, talk like, about it all yeah. the time. <laughs> like, you talk about those days all the time? Yeah. yeah. And you were good then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You remember what the record was back in those days? We, I don't what? even know if we, did we, we lost like one game. We lost like, I don't know, maybe like you all, maybe So you two? all played on the same travel team? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is that kind of, that's kind of unusual, right? I mean, I don't know, I guess you're all from the same town, but um, I don't know, that seems like a lot of years playing together. Yeah. yeah. What's it been like? Eight? It's like fifth grade. Yeah, because like Seems AAU different. like lifestyle now too. Like people can kind of go other directions and yep. do other things, but you all were on the okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we'd like all play AAU together too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So pretty much we would play like all year round. A lot together. of basketball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does it uh, has it ever become a grind? Even like the high school season, twenty one and two. I know this winter gets very long here around this neck of the woods. Like <laughs> snowing, dark early. Like some days I can imagine not wanting to go to basketball mm-hmm. practice and deal with Coach McNamara. Does that happen sometimes? Don't Never. worry. Pretend like he's not Never. here. <laughs> Pretend like he's not here. <laughs> but it is a grind. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's it a lot of commitment, but it's obviously worth it there with everything that Good we've job. accomplished so far. It's a lot of commitment. Yeah. It's. I mean, I think anybody can realize that. Mm-hmm. Does it ever feel some days more like a grind than others? You get schoolwork going on. Yes, You're definitely. All you have like yeah. college stuff going Especially on. Especially when we're all applying to colleges and stuff. Like now we have to worry about applying to scholarships mm-hmm. as well. But it's all. But also, I kind of see basketball as a way to like get out get out of all that stuff too blow off steam yeah it's kind of like a distraction sometimes and i love doing it so gotcha yeah any different answers to that one that's usually a good one with all this stuff going on yeah no that that was the perfect answer (laughs) same angela yeah okay um coach mcnamara i wonder um what was the obviously you know you were stuck on 299 before that wilmington game not stuck on you got there pretty quickly um but when you won that 300th game uh, you Obviously, you give all your credit to the players, which I, you know is a very uh, cool thing of you to do. But when it did it hit you at all when you went home and maybe you sat down on the couch that night and flipped on a basketball game somewhere else and said, "Wow." Um, actually, nice. I think I stayed for three more basketball games in Scotland. No, Scully's. you didn't. Yeah. So <laughs> really? Was, yeah. So there was a. It's a big tournament, a lot of teams. You so. need to work on your celebrating. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we did. I did stop with my wife at the ninety-nine. That. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> That's well. That's good. That that that, that will at least take that. I guess yeah. the um. D- did she ever help you uh, kind of g- maybe relish that moment a little bit, soak it in? And my wife's involved in the program quite a bit. Talks to the girls all the time. Talk, yeah. t- tells me what I do wrong. So <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Uh, what's the um? I, I think it, uh, it's always a fun question for me because I, I don't think people realize who maybe don't play sports or grow up playing sports. But the uh, being the wife or a husband of a coach is not exactly the easiest job no no Uh, especially after a loss especially after a loss yeah Yeah. that tends to be the (laughs) and it's uh, and it is a grind i mean i'm gone every night for you know from when do we start Uh, into no yeah november into november to hopefully mid-march you know five nights a week i'm not home for dinner or around to help out so yeah it is a grind for a lot of people not just the players and the coaches but parents driving the kids the younger kids the freshmen yeah, so. and the stuff you don't see, like the uh, like you know film work. I, I know is is probably your scouting. You just stayed for three yeah. games. That uh, you know that's that's a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of time see. involved, but I think that's what uh, helps us get prepared for the game. So it's all worth it. All right, here's the part coach isn't gonna like. Anna, what's the best part about uh, Coach McNamara? What is uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 steal that microphone? From <laughs> with, with, what, what's it like playing for this guy? Three hundred wins under his belt. Well, um, growing up, obviously mm-hmm. that. He was always like, I want to play for this yeah. coach. Like that's like my ultimate goal in my basketball career. And like it's like it's been really cool doing it now since I've always wanted to since I was so young. But I feel like the best part is that he's not afraid to tell you like 
when you need to work on something or when you make a mistake but he says it in a way that you it makes you want to work better like it makes you want to improve on it like he he'll never like tear you down mm-hmm. he'll always try to pick you up i asked that question earlier about uh you know he realizes when a freshman comes up there's some <laughs> intimidation do you remember that moment of like okay i'm gonna play for him That's the, <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah it was more like sophomore year for me i think yeah. when i was swinging you're like you're gonna play a role on this team. yeah <laughs> yeah so what is it what is that uh what's that feeling like is it, just, is it nerves is it like the good kind of nerves or like what is it it's a mix i mean i don't know i feel like it it's a lot of pressure because you kind of want to prove yourself but yeah. also like you're you're very nervous like in a bad type of nervous yeah. but yeah i don't know <laughs> it's hard to explain it's such a long time ago. yeah uh hannah you same question what's it like playing for coach um well i mean we like all grew up like watching the high school um, basketball te- teams play and like just wa- like watch him coach and everything and like we all wanted to be there eventually so it's kind of like you like reaching that point like it's 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 a good feeling yeah and yeah that's kind of cool you so you all were almost like a part of the program before you yeah. got because mm-hmm. you're just going to games that's mm-hmm. got to be a common thing you must all look into the crowd and see like oh, a bunch of middle schoolers yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's the next batch right yeah mm-hmm. that must be kind of fun uh angelina playing for coach Oh, yeah, like, like they both said, like, we all grew up, like, watching him and stuff, and, like, the best part is just, like, how he, like, always believes in us, like, even when, like, we might not believe in ourselves, like, if we have a bad game or something, he doesn't, like, expect us to play that way the whole game, like, he'll put us back in and expect us to play, like, how we, how he, and, like, we know how we can. It's funny you say that. I was watching a uh, college game over the weekend, and I noticed uh, there was this, this one coach who, like, was... Uh, uh, subbing guys out like for every mistake it was just mm-hmm. it, it was almost like a coach in a bad mood I think yeah. that's a real thing <laughs> but like and like players were like you know makes the make next guy in next guy in it was like every whistle there was like mm-hmm. two new guys coming in and I was thinking to myself like first of all that team's not that deep so I'm surprised he's doing that and second of all like everybody's gonna be scared to make a mistake out there yeah um so that's that's big for you that you know you can be loose and mm-hmm. not yeah too, like not too loose but you know mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't like make us feel bad for making mistakes he just like lets us know like that we made a mistake you know really can you give me an example on that no no no. (laughs) that's funny Uh, again this is the Pentucky girls basketball squad in here and head coach John McNamara Anna Weiner Hannah Lambert and Angelina Yakabachi uh Pentucky girls basketball 21 and two here on the young season um not that young anymore how many games do we have left we've got to be close right this is it Mm -hmm. we have regular seasons in the books now yeah so did you Okay, so you, that was kind of close. You needed a big year to make sure you got to 300 for coach. Yeah. (laughs) Did you have that milestone in mind at all? Like you wanted it to be this team? Well, I don't think we really knew until a couple weeks ago. We had no idea. talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. It's too humble. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. The girls also don't read the papers. (laughs) (laughs) Coach, I can imagine, um, I know you hate talking about milestones, but I can imagine you wanted to be done with this. 299 was not a number you wanted to be on very long. Let's get it get it done and move on to the state yeah I, I wasn't real happy it was put in the paper it was yeah nice just to, don't worry you know, they didn't we, read we, it. Yeah, <laughs> I, we have you know we have more important goals yeah. this year and um you know the nice thing about these guys and they've come up they they all played like we said on the same travel team yep they had probably one of the best travel teams around for f- four years and they've been winners since fifth grade so yep. they've had high expectations and last year they were able to you know, reach the ultimate by winning the state championship. And, you know, to win a state championship, you got to be lucky, you got to be good, you got to catch some breaks. So n- not guaranteed this year, Yeah. but they've experienced it, and we're going to, you know, make another n- nice run at it and see what happens. You know, usually we had you guys on um, last year after the state championship, yeah. and uh, it's funny, I d- don't, didn't recognize any of these girls when they came in, and usually when you have that kind of rec- – team comes yeah. back and having a great yeah. year i'll see a lot of the same faces yeah. it's a whole new batch here is it yeah, uh, a sign we, of your depth maybe or uh yeah we lost five seniors that played a lot last year wow. so i mean these guys got their minutes too but yeah yeah we we had a deep team last year and it's part of the evolution you know the next wave comes along and hopefully they're ready to to step up and take the uh you know the the driver's seat speaking of the next wave i don't know what the rules are against this but are you like I picture these girls being in middle school and travel ball and all that, and I imagine you being like, oh, that will be a fun group. If we can just keep that group together, that'll be fine. Uh, First of all, can you do that? 
can you be what kind of watching? Uh, oh, I can go watch games okay. and things. Yeah, and there's um, no rules against that. Already. Yeah, and and yeah, I, I know the kids that are playing. So yeah. S- so you know, at like a, at a young age, he's yeah, you can see better see and kids at a yeah, and and I knew this group was special yeah. back in fifth grade. Fifth grade, wow. Do you girls remember how good you were in fifth grade? Yeah. 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 Like individually, I know you grew up as a team and we're always winning, but like, were you, did you know like I'm gonna play? Yeah. Fifth grade, I, mean, I was still fifth like, grade, I was I was pretty yeah. bad, honestly. See, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I mean, maybe coach could probably see potential more than you could. Yeah, like, probably. I'm still trying to think of what sport's gonna be the, the one in fifth grade. Like, what do yeah. I want to even play in the winter time? Um, but that's cool to see. This is a, a tight knit group. What's like the pasta parties like? Is it a, a fun team to be around? It's a very fun team. We we don't really have like pasta say, parties often. Like we do occasionally. We have once, yeah, right? We do yeah. Them, like, sometimes. Yeah. Like on weekends and stuff. Like sometimes we'll do them like after like practice or something. Yeah. But not really like during the week. We're kind of busy. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> senior stuff. Is all the senior stuff done like colleges at this point or? No. No. Okay. No. no. I, are we just like right in the thick of it right now? Is that? Is it just starting or right in the thick? I forget my whole college uh, timeline. Kind of right in the middle. Like yeah. everyone, yeah. people are deciding and people are like figuring out like. So that's the stressful time. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I mean, out of all of us, Angelica Hurley is the only one who knows where she's gonna go mm-hmm. for her next four years. Where is the, is she? Is that public? Um, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. St. Joe's. Saint yeah, it's St. Okay. Joe's. It's in Maine. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> basketball is basketball in any yep. Wow. Right. <laughs> the um, coach, you've had a lot of players go and play at the next level, at least in, in some role, right? If, yeah, uh, we've had know. some. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. What's that like? Do you try to follow those careers? Oh yeah, I'll get up and see some games, and yeah. Yeah, I you try to travel. Yeah, I mean, um, we've had probably 10, 15 kids that have gone on to play in college. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's fun to follow their careers. I bet it is. The um, how about uh, I mean, basketball is one of those games too that like even if you're not playing at the college level, it's got like you can play intramurals and yep. it's great sport. Yep. I mean, that's what I do for my exercise. <laughs> I go to the gym and play a very high level <laughs> at the Beverly, uh, Beverly Athletic Club here. Don't get it confused. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> is Tyler laughing at me? Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think he is. But uh, it's just one of those great sports you can play, kind of for it's a great run, yeah. great exercise, and it's a it, it's a cool sport. So it's it's a it's a good one to take with you. Um, what do you think? Should we do rapid fire? With what? You girls haven't watched the show before. Come on. <laughs> Probably not. Oh, they were practicing. <laughs> they're, they're practicing. <laughs> they're running sprints. All right. You're supposed to answer these questions with um without hesitating. Okay. okay. Do a couple each. It's easier when you have three of them. Yeah, we're one at a time. So let's do. Uh, let's start. Yeah, let's start with Angelina. <laughs> Angelina first. Maybe it'll give you an easy one. What's your favorite sport to play? Basketball. There it is. <laughs> favorite food? A buffalo chicken. Nice. Oh, nice answer. Um, favorite movie? Hmm, oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, unacceptable answer. <laughs> favorite movie? Favorite actor? I don't know. I don't watch like movies or like TV that much. Really. No, not really. Yeah. I honestly don't. All right, we'll stay away from that question. <laughs> um, favorite subject? Mm. If you say that you don't go to class, <laughs> math. we have a real problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. Math? Are you, are you taking issue with her math answer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go to you then, Hannah. Um, <laughs> uh, first of all, why do you take issue with that answer? You don't like math? I'm not a fan of math, no. <laughs> this is why you can go one for ten to start a game. It's fine. <laughs> Just kidding. That was, that was a cheap shot. Uh, favorite, favorite class? Uh, probably science. Why? Um, I have the right to ask follow-ups. I forgot to tell you that part. I don't know. It's just always like interested in me, like figuring out why things happen. I guess. Okay. Favorite food? Uh, pasta. Favorite sport to watch other than basketball? To watch? Yep. Mm, hockey, probably. Ooh, interesting. The other winter sport. Uh, favorite sport to play other than basketball, since you kind of took issue with that question. Mm-hmm. Other than basketball? Yep. Lacrosse. Lacrosse. I find it boring to watch. I figure it would be like... Yeah, lacrosse girls lacrosse is slow. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I, they, all lacrosse. I've never found it interesting. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well. Y- you all disagree with me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, we're good. Anna, let's go to you. Actually, Hannah, you might be my only movie question. Favorite mm-hmm. movie? Mamma Mia. <laughs> you, you wanted me to ask that one, didn't you? <laughs> I had that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Anna, who's, uh, first of all, who's in charge of the music on the team? There's like team locker room music, right? Yeah. Every team. Um, Greta Mauer. Okay. Yeah. What's the team song? 
it's an uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's a little inappropriate. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, thanks, well, thanks for holding. It's a rap that song. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> that can happen. Uh, favorite uh, favorite musician for you personally? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, Mac Miller. Mac Miller. Yeah. That might be a first Mac Miller answer. On really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of there's a lot of crossover. I don't think. <laughs> favorite uh, sport other than basketball? Lacrosse. Favorite food? I like chicken Caesar salad wraps. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> favorite thing to do with like favorite like hobby? Hobby. Hmm. Mm. I don't even know. I don't really know if I have any hobbies. Kind of a hobby. <laughs> hobby. Favorite hobby. Is uh, listening to music a hobby? Basketball. Yeah, that works. Yeah, basketball. Basketball is not a hobby. <laughs> it does not go. It's a job. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is funny. Uh, let's go back to Coach Backman for a second. Um, Coach, I wonder, when you've had so much success over the years, and uh, you, you obviously you have a lot of talent that comes through too, but how does like a coach get this like culture going? Like, uh, I, it's Every year, it's the same story. Like, There's usually lulls in these programs where like this is a rebuilding year. It's just the kids didn't come this year or whatever. How um, does this happen? I mean, the, I think the culture is from – these guys sharing it with, like we said, with the freshmen and the yeah. freshmen buying in and carrying it on. Um, as far as the drop off, I mean, we've been pretty lucky, but we do rely on defense. And I think if you rely on defense, like we won a game the other day where we shot like, you know, 20%, yeah. but we won because we played great defense. So if you build off a of defense, you can always kind of stay in games and maybe steal a few games if you don't have a, a really good offense. Defense first. And is there a. Is there one thing I, a coach seems pretty mild mannered? I'm sure you've all maybe seen him upset at one point in time. <laughs> yeah, is a couple that, times. Is that accurate? A couple times. <laughs> what is like the what is the one thing that you that you all know? If you, this happens, we've made coach angry. Is there one oh. like unacceptable thing? When when he like an action he would yeah. do? Yeah, um, personal thing. When team we're thing. in the locker room, <laughs> he'll slam the clipboard against the locker. <laughs> Yes, fine, but why though? Like, what did we do? Like, is it like a lack oh, of effort, um, hustle, no defense, hmm. on time? Uh, What's the pet peeve? It could be maybe a mix, probably. Uh, I don't think it's ever lack of effort. I think maybe it's not not knowing our plays well enough. Maybe, oh, yeah. possibly. How is that playbook? There are lots to learn. There, there are lots of them. People yeah, don't, people don't realize that it's not just yeah. little, it's not just tying up the shoelaces and going out there and playing. Oh, no, right? no, nope. a lot of study. <laughs> how much time, how, how, Hannah, how much time do you put into the playbook? Um, how much time do I put into uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, I try to, I, like, stay focused at practice and try to really, like, like, I'll draw it out in my head sometimes to, like, make sure I get it right, but, like, Practice is when I focus on it most. <laughs> okay, so repetition in practice. Yeah. What about you, Angelina? Does that? Uh, is there a lot to learn? Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot to learn. But I feel like all of us just kind of learn it in practice. Like we'll do it time after time until like everyone really like knows what they're doing. Yeah. And like we said like before, like if you don't understand something, like everyone knows and like feels comfortable enough to like ask like the older girls or like someone who they feel comfortable asking like on the sideline yeah do you have you fielded a lot of those questions from freshman and sophomore like i don't want to ask coach like <laughs> where am i supposed to be here <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot of that i can i can imagine there is what's the um is there like a level of uh going into these games where you girls know like especially i'm thinking like state tournament you've already been down that road but i can imagine it would give like uh, me as a player a lot of confidence if you go into a game and you know what we're not going to get out coached in this game you know, like we're gonna be—it's on us because we got that part covered. We, yeah. You know, at best they're gonna equal our coach. He's not—we're not gonna be out coached. Is that a good feeling as a player? Yeah, I feel like it's comforting. It's comforting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but, like, are you asking about like the coaching? Uh, yeah, I mean everything. I mean. Yeah, not, I don't think not messing up the timeouts. Yeah, screwing, no, yeah. that's definitely not ever <laughs> any of our worries. You don't especially, even think about that. Yeah, no, yeah. because we not only do we have Coach Mac, but we also have like amazing coaches on our bench too. Yeah. So it's never a worry of any of ours. Why don't you shout them out a little bit too? Because I know uh, I, I know Coach would want us to do that. That's uh, who's who are the assistants this year? Um, Tori Lane, Steph Murray. That's your last name, right? Yep. And yeah. um, Coach Veaton. All right, that's it. <laughs> usually, usually the players don't get to the assistants first. That must make you pretty proud. That uh, <laughs> the how do you, you must be surrounding yourself though with a lot of uh, comfortable people on your bench. Yeah, uh, two former players are on the bench: yep. Steph Murray and Tori Lane, and um, and then Bob Beaton has been with me now for. 
12 years. Yeah. He's the calming influence to... The calming influence. <laughs> <laughs> to you too? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, to me as well. He'll calm the girls down. He'll calm me down. He, he's he's uh, really special to have on the bench. His demeanor is perfect to offset m my demeanor. <laughs> okay. That's, that's very interesting. Is there... Um, you guys probably know each other so well as a coaching staff, but is there... I mean, how much do... How much do they really get in your ear? I mean, is it uh, let, let that one go, coach? Like the not the moment that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, no, he'll yeah. like he'll grab me and say, you know, not, not the time to yell at them, or not you know, yeah. you know, I'll it, listen to him. You know, he's he's got the perspective. Sometimes. Always, do you always listen to him? Um, <laughs> not always. I mean, sometimes yeah. he'll say, "Let's run this," and I'll say, "Oh, we that did, we didn't we don't, we don't know that well enough yet." You know, something oh, yeah, like yeah. that. You know, some so there's but he speaks his mind, and I have other people that help out and scout that will come up to me and say you should have done this or that so it's good it's not like yeah you know you you learn from that is there a uh i especially think you mentioned you have some former players on the on the, on the uh staff is there ever been a moment in this year past years where uh maybe there's a matchup you're not like exploiting and somebody says to you like yeah let's, let's go yeah let's go to this a little bit more you know one of the steph murray will come up to me and say hey the number you know 12's got three fouls why don't we go to mckenzie and see if she can drive and yeah you know we'll, tr we'll try that next time down the court with the uh, up-tempo style that you play, too, and, I mean, p kind of the high school game feels quick, too, in general. I mean, there's no TV timeouts. There's no right. – it, it does move quickly. And like I said earlier, it can get away from you quickly. Mm -hmm. um, you, your teams tend to be on the other side of mm -hmm. that, of <laughs> running away quickly. But uh, mm -hmm. it, in those moments with the fast-moving game like that, I can imagine an assist assistant coach, assistant coaching staff is really relied upon. Oh, yeah, they pick up things like the subs from the other team coming in. Oh, if the, yeah. you know, the – the girl we're trying to shut down, she's back in the game, and now we have to make our adjustments. So, yeah, no, it's really important, and they stay, they spend a lot of time, you know, focusing on the, the details, and, and I think they help the girls quite a bit. Absolutely. Um, past players coming back, is that something that uh, happens at Pentucky Girls? You ever past get players coming back? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who wants to take that one? Has that been a really <laughs> uh, thing this year? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like that's, like, a really big part of the program, like, everyone always like comes back to watch and like sometimes girls will even like come back to like practice on like their breaks and stuff so like even like when you're out of the program like you're not like you always want to come back because like it really like is like a family that must be um that must be kind of fun going against mm -hmm. somebody that's graduated yeah and another yeah. year or two older than you mm -hmm. or uh is that make you tougher as a team you think too when you're yeah i think it definitely does because like those girls are like more mature like even than us like they've been yeah. playing for longer than us so yeah i think it definitely does yeah i bet in uh and you know, may, uh, who knows? Maybe they went to college and they're they're not in as good a shape as you. So maybe you can still maybe, <laughs> maybe you can dominate. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Hannah, what's been the uh, twenty one and two? What's been the most satisfying win for you this year? Um, definitely against Masco on our senior night. That was very satisfying, especially because it was so close. People like to beat Masco, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> is that just the size of the school? What what is the deal with Masco? Um. Well, like they're pretty good at most sports, so I feel like yeah. that's why. Always a test. Yeah. They're leaving the Cal, right? They yeah. Are. It's going to be a little bit weird. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you, you, none of you care. <laughs> <laughs> we set them off with a loss. Yeah. yeah, set them off with a loss. There you go. There you go. I can laugh about that. We don't have very many Masco people on the show. Um, so 21-2, and two, state tournament, you know what it takes to win. Is there any? Uh, is there one thing that you girls are like as a team, forget the X's and O's, forget like coaches. Is there something that like maybe has crept into a couple games, maybe crept into your loss the other day that you like want to shore up before the state tournament? Um, <laughs> I feel like it's just like playing together as a team like yeah. when we all play together like as five on offense and defense we play so much better than if a few people are just trying to like yeah were there moments of uh, too much individuality in that loss the other day you think or mm, I feel like not too much sometimes it's just like no one's like necessarily like trying to do that right. but like it does happen sometimes or like someone won't yeah. make the rotation on defense and then they might get a basket or something like that so just like playing together as a team is really important for the tournament yeah how uh Hannah, how important is it for you to get because uh, you have great crowd support um <laughs> winning kind of builds that too obviously but uh especially with straight tournament time how good is it to get, kind of play with a lead get the crowd involved like feed off the crowd um well the crowd whenever we have like a big crowd there it definitely brings up our intensity because we're all like we're all kind of um, bouncing off of their energy, so like we hear them, and that kind of gets us going. Especially on the bench, like you want to, like we, I feel like we cheer a lot louder and a lot more, like when there's 
just an, a crowd off to the side also cheering too. Yep, that makes sense. What's the, um, do you feel that crowd? I mean, do you, it's been so good for year after year. It's like, I mean, do, it's such a culture of winning. Do people like, yeah, wake me up when it's a state tournament. We'll, you know, we'll get to the important yeah. games. There is that. We kind of have bandwagon uh, fans. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. It's like just being spoiled Patriots fans around here. It's, it's tough. Um, do you, so I've been, uh, you girls will probably laugh at me on this. So I have, uh, I have been told by guest here, like I do the Twitter thing, and I've been told that um, I need to do Instagram. So I've just started doing Instagram. That's apparently <laughs> more popular. All right, so we're going to do Instagram right now during the show. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, so here we go. Uh, three, two, one. All right. Hello, we're on the radio. I'm Drew. Uh, we're here with the Pentucky girls basketball team. They are 21-2, and two, and like they're really good every year. Hey, girls, introduce yourselves. Hey. Hi, I'm Angelina Yakabachi. Hi, I'm Hannah Lambert. I'm Anna Weiner. I'm John McNamara. Coach McNamara is uh, 300 wins as of the other night, and uh, he's, he's thrilled about it. He loves talking about it doesn't like talking about it coach 300 <laughs> wins what's it like um, on to the next game on to cincinnati <laughs> on to yeah. cincinnati favorite thing about playing for coach a couple words um the culture hannah um the energy behind it all yeah just like anna said like the culture and like how he always believes in us mm-hmm. you guys gonna win the state tournament again oh wow <laughs> they, they've been taught well hello instagram we'll be back <laughs> There you go. That's Instagram. See, now I'm, I'm good at that. I'm not sure how that translates to radio. What do you think, Tyler? Keep doing it. Keep doing it. All right. <laughs> um, again, with Pentucky girls basketball in the house here. Final couple of minutes. 21-2 and two this year. Head coach John McNamara, Anna Weiner, Hannah Lambert, Angelina Yakabachi. Did I get right? I'm yeah. doing okay with that? Good. <laughs> I, was one, I was worried about that one coming in. Um, 21-2. and two. You know you get the best teams every shot. Uh, best teams shot every night. Mm-hmm tough thing to gear up for and be ready every night well yeah i would say yeah like naturally it is but we always have like the best game plan possible like we're always we're always ready we're always expecting like we know who their players are we know what we need to do to shut it down it just depends if we can execute it makes you better you think yes definitely i thought you were gonna give me a really long answer you did the uh, well here's (laughs) uh hannah what's it like having to be uh, on the a game every night or um, well, like sometimes you can feel that that pressure because you know that they're like each one of us have a role on this team. Like each mm-hmm. one of us have a job that we have to do. So like it's kind of just like every night, like you gotta come and you gotta do your job and you gotta work hard and put as much effort as you can into that one game. Yeah, Angelina. Uh, yeah, I just think like that stuff kind of like comes from practice because like we want to practice like how we're gonna play and like every night, even if we're playing a team who we know isn't necessarily like the best we still have to play like our best because when we do play a team like that like we aren't going to be prepared if we don't so you're uh, every coach from the beginning of time has said those exact words we're going to play like we practice and mm-hmm. i can tell it's been drilled into your head too yeah uh, they're uh you've gone home after like a bad practice like what and every team has them mm-hmm. what is that like you're like oh no 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 that we we got it wrong today what's that feeling like uh i feel like it can honestly kind of make us nervous for the game because yeah if we're practicing like that, like we don't know how the game will go because it seems like everyone doesn't really like know what they're doing, but like we always like seem like somehow to like wrap it up at the end of practice and like get it together. Yeah, let's end on a good note here. Mm-hmm. What's it like for uh, and Hannah? Maybe you can take this one. What's it like having like a freshman? Um, I, I, I'm thinking because you, we kind of talked about jokingly about missing shots and you know, keep shooting but what's it like seeing a freshman struggle or a sophomore struggle um, um well i definitely feel for them because yeah. like they're definitely all in their head like all very nervous like yeah. they fragile wanna, those freshmen and sophomores, yeah, they, right? yeah they don't want to just impress coach mac they also want to impress like the upperclassmen too because yeah. we've been here and we've done that i bet that's pressure i mean just looking at you i mean you state champions like yeah i wouldn't want to let you never mind coach i wouldn't want to let you <laughs> let you three down I mean, yeah, but like we're like we're definitely not that intimidating. Like we've like like I've said before, like we're all like friendly with them. Like we don't make it like we're sh- just like yeah. You try to be inclusive. Yeah. Who's the uh, who's that person, Anna? Who um, things aren't going well? 
you run into the locker room at halftime. Maybe you're down at halftime. Not sure how many times that's happened this year, but um, you're losing it before coach gets in the room. Maybe like somebody needs to like step up and say something. Definitely, uh, our two captains, yeah. Angelica and Angelina, um, they always have something positive to say. Like they'll, if someone's down, they'll pick them up. Like they always have something supportive. Like they know how to pick up the team if we're all down. Yeah. So. What's the has that happened to? Oh yeah. It's a very quick answer. So I yeah. <laughs> Just the whether it be losing or just like we're not sharp or that sort mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. A same deal at practice. That can happen in practice too. Those moments, right? Definitely. Yeah. Good leadership. Do you all learn that from past captains that have come through too? Because yeah. I imagine it's not just being a captain who's a leader, right? I mean, I bet you have a whole handful yeah. of leaders. These guys in the team. are all leaders. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they've been around. Yep. So it's uh, what's the uh, do you build off like what you've seen? Maybe good oh, captains definitely. in past years? Yeah. Last year we had amazing captains, um, Jess, Maddie, and Liv. Yeah. They always knew how to pick ev anyone up in any situation. Yeah. And they really taught us how to, like, be a leader. So. I bet. Yeah. The um, And you've had a lot of them. Coach, when you think back to all your uh, – I mean, you must think of – you know, floor general is a term that's thrown around a lot in basketball, just, you know, usually with a guard, but you must have a lot of on-court leaders, too, that just can kind of take over games, settle situations down. I'm sure you think back over the years. and Yeah, those are the intangibles that win, you yeah. know, and you have kids that can kind of block out all the noise and focus and, and be a leader on the court and get people settled. Yeah. And they're, they're hot, it's hard to do. Yeah. And there aren't a lot of kids that can do that, but, you know, experience and playing in big games – these guys start figuring that out, and that makes uh, – that's part of that culture. You get to play a lot of big games. You get better at it. When you run through a, um, uh, you know, a Cape Ann League like you've done here so many times over the decade, does it uh, – have you at all – maybe some years more than others been, you know what, I wonder if we were tested enough heading into the state tournament. I hope we got enough game pressure. We play a pretty tough non-league schedule. Yeah. Is that so something you almost have to think about way in Yeah, advance? we do. And, yeah. and this year, actually, the Cape Ann League was pretty balanced, and it was, it was yeah. a very good league. But – you know, we've played Westford, Central Catholic, uh, Notre Dame, and Hingham. We just went and played um, Wilmington and Medfield. So we try to schedule, you know, D1 teams and, and go into yeah. big tournaments where there's some pressure and you can feel it. Yeah. Do you like walking into is, – is there anything better, girls, than kind of going into a tough environment and getting a win in a tough crowd and kind of shutting up a fan base? <laughs> no, that's the best that's feeling. That's the best <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you've played in plenty of those. But, uh, you mentioned Masco was the most satisfying. I should ask you two that, too. Oh, yeah, I totally yeah, agree with that. It's Masco unanimous? Especially since wow. it was our senior night, too. Yeah. And they were the only team that we lost to during our um, um, regular season. Gotcha. For, uh, what's the uh, favorite road place to play? Hmm. Individual question. It doesn't have to be team-wise. Like, What's your favorite gym to shoot in that's not your home gym? I kind of like Linfield. Linfield, okay. Yeah. Any reason why? Um, there's not. There's like no distractions okay. kind of behind the basket where I feel like there are a so lot. So that's purely for like shooting. And yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe North Reading. Their gym's pretty nice. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I like North Reading's gym too. They have a really nice one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nobody said Newburyport. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's the, I was uh, for the Boston Garden. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What's that like being on that floor? Crazy. Crazy. Mm. <laughs> I, I need more than that. What's, what's, what's the uh, what's that experience, Angelina? You take that one first. Boston Garden. What, I mean, you, I would get nervous for that state tournament. Oh yeah, I was definitely nervous. Um, I don't know. I feel like I was nervous like before, but then after like you get in the game like right from tip off, it's just like another game. Like you're not really thinking like, oh, I'm playing at the Garden. Like when you're actually in the game, but like when you take like a step back on the bench, you're like. Wow, I'm playing in the garden. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever like look up at the rafters and like, wow? Look oh at yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Larry Bird's number. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that t a lot of taking it in. Yeah. Um, th d how about uh, you, Hannah? What was that experience like? Um, it was definitely like surreal. Like, especially when we got there early and like you're just sitting in the stands and you're looking around. And you're like, wow. Like in an hour, I'm gonna be playing on that yeah. court. It's just crazy to think uh, about. And even like the court in general, like it's unique. Yeah. The parquet is, yeah. is different. Like uh, you just like dribbling the ball a little bit. And you're like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. definitely really cool to just be like down there on that court. Like even even warming up was cool. Like I bet every aspect of it. What a treat that! I mean, you earned it, but what a treat that is, Anna. Um, the garden experience. <laughs> yeah. Again, crazy. Um, yeah. 
like when we got we got there early like hannah said and just sitting in the stands watching the game before us it was crazy to think that that was going to be us in like an hour like just what hannah said again like warming up was probably like warming up was i don't (laughs) even like crazy (laughs) and probably probably important too right yeah i would think shooting backdrops you're not used to that right no <laughs> uh, hannah yeah. <laughs> um yeah i can imagine that being coach you've been uh done your fair share of those uh, you, how many seven times seven times yeah another step it's actually a, a very good place to play basketball because it's docked behind so the shooting is is not like an open arena type shooting so yeah. we've always shot pretty well at the garden okay so it's, the Songus arena is a lot different that's a hockey arena yeah, yeah. and the lighting and, and it's a little tougher place to shoot is there any uh do you feel that need as a coach to do that maybe calm down speech like listen obviously this is the biggest stage yeah like uh, who just go measure the hoop right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah you, you know but it, it, both teams are in the same boat so it, there's going to yeah. be nerves and who can settle down first and I think we had a great start last year when we were at the garden got out to a lead so um, yeah you got you got to play through that because you're going to be nervous coaches are nervous yeah is it uh I mean, it must help being there. I can imagine you look at a group and maybe uh, some teams get out there and they're immediately all over the place and not playing within themselves. And maybe you guys have an advantage on that because you've been there. Yeah, it definitely helps, I think. I think, you know, like the Patriots have talked about it in the past where, you know, they've been to a Super Bowl, the team first time going there, they're kind of caught up in the moment where we're trying to make it like a, a job. We got, we got a job to do. Mm, interesting. Best advice to a young coach here, folks, uh, Coach McNamara, final uh, minute here, but... Um, you got a first-time basketball coach taking on a high school team. What uh, what made you so successful? What's your best advice to the young coach? I think be prepared, and and I've gone to a lot of college practices and things, and just yeah. learn and don't be afraid to, you know, steal ideas and use other people's ideas, and then then finally mold your own yeah. style. But I think preparation is the big thing. There you go. All right. Well, twenty-one and two girls, unbelievable season again. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, congratulations, coach. Um, Best of luck in the state tournament. Thank you. You know the deal. You win the state tournament. You have to come back on the show. So um, that's the, we can agree to that right now. <laughs> yes. Do, do, do you think about that? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just I kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, <laughs> come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed. Uh, 21 and 2, though. Unbelievable season. Uh, and it was fun talking with you all. Nice to meet you. Nice you, uh, too. Uh, you too. Good, good luck in the tournament. We wish you all the best. Uh, Coach McNamara, I know you're very modest. You hate talking about it. 300 is an incredibly large win column number. Uh, congratulations on that milestone. I know someday you'll really sit back and enjoy it. Maybe now is not the time, but uh, congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Coach John McNamara and his Pentucket basketball squad. Go check them out. Um, the, they're great again. What can you say? They're just a, a great team and uh, about to make their state tournament run. Tyler Newfeld producing on the radio side today. Caleb Noble's in there doing some of the TV work. Uh, no Lily to set today. She's off. Um, but uh, we will see you all Thursday. Same time, same place. My name is Drew Mulholland. This has been Afternoon Drive on Chopper Radio. Thank you to Pentucket Girls Basketball. Uh, we'll see you Thursday. Bye-bye now.